Two, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video with your boy KO. I am out here at South Wire. Let me see what city is this. In Heflin, Alabama. Picking up what do they call these? Spools? Well, I've heard different names. I heard some people call them spools, some people call them cable wire. I don't know. Whatever you, you call these things. That I don't know if that's the ones I'm picking up. TMC has different ones, so I don't know exactly which ones I'm picking up. I might be picking up the ones probably that the TMC driver have because um, I'm using six. No, I need eight coil racks, so I'm assuming six. So I probably I might be picking up like how TMZ is. Two, four, six, eight, but he got it in three, so he could use two, four, six, six chains. I only got six chains, and I asked her, my manager, before I came here, and she said, I said, do I need uh, eight chains? Because I looked at the pictures, and I seen people taking those, and I'm like, shit, if I'm taking multiple, I only got six chains, so and she was like, no, um, they say you only need eight. I mean, four. The most. So... I don't know. <laughs> Said for the most, they got. So if they do it like that, then I'm gonna need more than four. I'm gonna use six. We could probably get away with using one in the middle, but I'm gonna use six. I'm gonna use two, two, and two. So we gonna see. Right now, I'm gonna go set up my Corex and my Dunnage. I uh, see everybody else done done that, so I'm just gonna go set it up now. So at least when they get ready to load me, I can be in and out um you check in here you got to come all the way up a hill at first i was like damn i hope i'm going the right way um you got to come all the way to the top of the hill it's literally in the middle of the mountains um and then go to the guard shack um and he'll tell you how many coil racks um that you need so that's the check-in process y'all so first time doing these i oiled my chain not my chains i oiled up my binders before i got here um, because I have, I've, shit, I've been here for almost five months. I've used them things maybe twice. <laughs> and not even all of them, only a, a couple of them. So they just been sitting and they rusty. So, but we're gonna go ahead and set everything up. I'll show y'all when I'm done. All right, y'all. So I got everything set up. We've done it. Actually, let me get up here. I'm gonna show y'all from the top. There you go, now you can see it. So, two dunnage, two coil racks, all the way back, eight pieces, and then, I got my chains on this side. Oh, I'm over here, zooming in. I'm like, well, I can't see anything, my bad, y'all. So, <laughs> uh, I got a chain on each side. I'm probably gonna put two chains in the front, but I wanna see how they put it on first, because I don't, I don't even know how they putting it on. So, depending on how they put it on, because looking at that CRS2 right there, he got two, well, he, no, he got one chain on each, and then on the first one, he has a strap going through it also. So, this is my first time, so, you know, I'm just observing. He's the only person that's got loaded that I can actually see how he doing it. And then I think he putting a, he probably putting a strap on that last one as well. So, that's how he doing it. So, but look, he using a, He's using a ratchet strap, so a two inch strap. So that might be a smart idea. If anything, I'll do that. I have, I have, uh, I have some ratchet straps. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's using that on the front of the So if anything, that's what I'll do. I'll do it like that myself because y'all already know it's my first time, so. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow. But uh, I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. I'll catch up with y'all. All right, boys. We are done. Sun is bright. There you go. So I had to improvise. Two of my binders, y'all already know, the shit sits outside and I don't ever use them. So they are, they seized up. So I lubed them up earlier before I even came. They move a little bit, but they got like grease and stuff stuck between them. So trying to get that shit out. 
a nightmare. So I'm just gonna buy those new binders that I see everybody using now, the one that's um, one-sided and then they bend down. I'll have to show y'all. I'm just gonna order me some of those and I'm just gonna keep them in the truck so they don't freaking be out here getting rained on and all that. Obviously, if I'm pulling the load, there ain't nothing I can do about it, but they been sitting out here for months because it's been months since I used them things. So them shit's pretty much seized up. So it wasn't really nothing I could do about it. So what I did was I put one chain on each one. Uh, at first I had two on the front one, but then I took one off because I needed one in the back. So I just used what I could. So now I got one on each. Um, I got one chain on each pulling one direction and then I got one strap pulling the other direction. So to me, that was the easiest way to make this work. So that's how I ended up doing it, which is still over secure because one strap is 5,400 pounds. These core, these um, real things are what, 10,000 pounds. So you only got to secure half of it, which is five. So the strap alone is more than enough securement, but the chain was there first. The strap is more so like a piece of mind for me really because i wanted to put two chains on the front and two chains on the back but since i couldn't do that i was gonna put a strap here in the middle regardless but hey that's that's how that's all i can do these chains are tight obviously i'm gonna check them but for now they are good so, yeah, I'm definitely gonna give me some new binders, man. These, the, even these were all rusted up. So, it took me way longer than I, I've been here doing this for two hours, securing this load. Uh, Cause it took, it took two hours before they even pulled me around. So, well, it was like an hour, I was at like an hour and like 50 minutes before they finally called me to pull me around. They pulled me and another driver around. Um, but I'm pretty sure he probably had working binders because he had a freaking um, box on the side of his trailer. So I'm pretty sure his shit wasn't seized up like mine. So <laughs> uh, that's a headache, man. Um, if anything, if I see some at the truck stop, I know truck stops be taxing on them damn things. Um, I would like to get another one so that I could just I'll run the chain through it tonight and then do it like that. But if I can't, it's no biggie, man. I'll just keep a I'll keep a, a eye out on it for sure, for sure. But if I feel like it'll be better, then I'll just go ahead and do it like that. But I don't know if I told y'all we taking this load to Colorado, 1,600 miles. 1675 is what it says. I don't have. Oh, actually, I'm over here talking. I gotta go get my paperwork. So, <laughs> let me go get my paperwork. I'm gonna catch up with y'all when I get to my fuel stop. All right, y'all. So, I got the paperwork. Um, got everything. About to head out now. Um, the load. The load is 42,000. Almost 43. It's like 42,297 or something like that. So. So we headed out now. I got three different uh, GPSs running. They all say something different. One say 1598 miles. This one say 1615, and the one up there says 1675. So I'm like, well, they all say something different. So that should be fun. But we're taking this to Colorado, like I was saying. Um, I picked up today. Today is currently Tuesday. Strap 
RVs, I've seen people use a running strap to them because legally a strap is all you need. You can run a strap through it. You can run two straps through it because the hole in the center is big enough. So you can literally just run two straps pulling both ways and it's legal. Uh, nothing on, nothing says that I have to chain it. Um, so I feel like it's really uh, whatever you more safe with. I mean, obviously I'd rather chain something like this, but $250. Pump price was three, I think it's 305. We get it for 270. I think, I think. I don't remember to be honest. Did my securement check. I had to tighten these up, but as y'all see, this bitch don't move. I tighten them all. Um, these front two were straight. They wasn't really loose. This one had a little play in it, the third one, but this one was super loose, which I'm gonna have to take this binder off and redo it because as y'all see, the thread is all the way in. So I'm gonna redo that one tonight, but right now, yeah, it ain't going nowhere. We Gucci. So we all good on the secure man check. I'm gonna run inside, grab me a couple drinks real quick. I think I got like two, two and a half hours or something like that. So I'm gonna knock that out and I'll check back in with y'all tonight. Good morning, y'all. So we made it to Arkansas, right outside of Little Rock last night. Um, I think I drove till I had like 20, I wanna say like 20 something miles um, I drove to. So I ended up parking. Oh, like what is that behind me? Oh, truck just pulled up. I ended up parking on the, on the ramp at the rest area. Well, it's not even a rest area, it's a truck parking area. They was packed up, but I only had like 20 something minutes, so I wasn't gonna make it to no other truck stop. But the next closest truck stop was like 30 something miles, which it said they had parking, but it was 30 something miles, so I doubt I, I, I'm pretty sure I would have made it. So I had to do what I had to do. So I'm just gonna run an 8 2 split. Right now I'm on a pre trip. There's a truck stop 49 miles away. It's a Flying J. Um, they got a Denny's, and I got a Mo Shower Credits there. So I'm just do an eight to split. Go there, take a shower, get some food, and then by that time, my two hours should be up, and then I can just keep it moving. Cause I got, I have three hours and 24 minutes on my clock right now. So, and I'm already awake. So to sit here for two more hours. I ain't got nothing to do, so I'm like, I might as well just drive down there. I could at least give me a shower, and this is when I wish we had a PC, because I could have just PC to a truck stop, took me a shower, got food, and I even had to worry about starting my clock, but hey, it is what it is. Um, so we're gonna get on down this road. The chains and everything been good. Like I told y'all, the back chain, the one all the way on the back, is the one I'm gonna take off and, well, not the chain, but the binder. Uh, I'm gonna take that one off and redo it because the threads is all the way in. Um, unless it's still holding tight, uh, I did drive another like two and a half hours last night. So, but these roads out here are jacked up. So, 
you hitting bump at the bump at the bump. So it's just and those chains since they've been sitting, I haven't used them, so they ain't in the best of condition. So <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to start oiling them every week. I'm start having to remember to do that, put oil on these things and that way I don't have to worry about that next time I go to use them. But anyway, y'all, let me go ahead and get down this road. I'll tap in with y'all later. All right, y'all. So, show y'all Big Red. We ain't got Big Red washed up. Y'all can see. Finally got this truck washed. I've been wanting to get my truck washed for a while. I got it washed a while ago, but it's been a minute, so she all cleaned up. Came out real good. Yeah, she all cleaned up. I got it washed right here. I'm out here in Russellville, Arkansas. That truck wash right there. That's who washed it. I don't really know the name. It just says wash out 24-7, so I don't know what's the actual. <laughs> I don't know the actual name to give y'all, but that's the wash out where I went. Oh, it says Russellville Tank Wash, but they do everything. They wash tankers, uh, reefer. I only know about this place because I used to work at Prime. We used to have to go to the Tyson down the road, and before you go there, obviously, you had to get your reefer washed out. So I used to come here and get my trailer washed out all the time. So I remember this place, and I'm like, okay, bet. I'm going to just go ahead and get my truck washed because I've been wanting to do it, but y'all know, man, them blue beacon lines be long as hell. So... We ain't got time for that. So <laughs> they ain't had no line, literally pull me right in. And they do a great job. They open the hood, do climb up. I'm about to tighten that one. Um, do climbs up and get up there and wash the top and everything. Like they do a real good job. So 10 for 10, recommend them boys. Y'all need a truck wash. Go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm finna get food here uh, from the Denny's. And I am going to take a shower here. I'm gonna tighten this chain first. So I ain't gotta get dirty afterward. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything that I want to tighten now before I go take a shower because I don't have to worry about this later. And uh, we're gonna get on down this road again and uh, I'll check in with y'all. check as y'all see here's the one that I had to redo as y'all see I don't know if the camera picks it up yeah y'all can see it actually got thread I took it I took it completely off and, and put it back on because I'm like yeah all the thread went in so I had to tighten them a little bit because these rolls right here are jacked up bro so I had to tighten them a little bit but other than that they've been pretty good the straps stay they stay in straight so y'all already know the straps is already more than enough plus the chain double secure mint so we got 800 and let me see 885 i believe let me see let me tell you all that 8 882 to be exact so we're gonna go ahead and i got five hours and 54 minutes i was here for 38 minutes so be able to get 30 in so we're gonna go ahead and get down this road and uh Gonna grab my snacks because I don't plan on stopping again until I stop for the night. So we're gonna go ahead and get down this road. I'll probably get it down to like the goal is at least 600 miles. I do have another load. Uh, my manager sent me another load. I said that bitch trash. That bitch trash. Super trash. But what can you expect coming out here, man? What can you expect? And I gotta go through the mountains and all that BS and all that. It's... That's why I don't like going far sometimes. So we gonna stick to Texas. That's like that's the only place we're gonna go west. That's probably it. Cause I already know ain't ain't a lot of freight out here for me to do. Not with the general freight that they pull. Now, if they did like equipment and shit, it'd probably be easy to get something, but 
they don't here, so it is what it is. But just want to catch y'all up to speed. Oh, I passed by a freaking Peterbilt dealership coming over here. Y'all know I want me a 579 with a Cummins. But I want a manual truck. I don't want an automatic truck. I want a manual truck. Since I'm doing a flatbed, I want a manual truck. I mean, automatic still gonna pull, but I'd rather have a manual truck. So, the one that I want, I want a 579. I want the one, I want a TMC truck, basically. The one with the stacks on the side, but TMC trucks are automatic. So, they sell them. Um, I've looked at them. They come with a Cummins in them, which is the motor I want. The only problem is automatic, so I'm like, uh, I don't really want an automatic. If I have to, then I will, but if I'm paying for it, I want to get what I want. So, that's the goal. And they have one over here at the Peterbilt out here in Oklahoma, and it had the stacks on it. It's all white. Beautiful. I don't know if they had a Cummins or a Packard. Obviously, you can't tell from the outside, um, but um, it was a four-axle truck, so it was one that had the lift axle in the back, so I'm like, damn. I would, I would for sure start, but I'm, I'm gonna still look them up online when I park. That was the actual Peterbilt dealership, but anyway, y'all, just want to catch y'all up. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get down down this road. I will catch up with y'all probably in the morning or maybe tonight. We'll see what happens. y'all we made it out here to new mexico i'm in san juan and that right yeah san juan new mexico i think that's the thing that's right um parked at this dirt lot as y'all see just a big dirt lot that's all that's over here ta is right there across the street um they had parking at the ta but I'm like, man, I'd rather just park in the dirt lot and be no noise, no none of that. So I parked over here. When I when I parked here, it wasn't even this many trucks here last night. But I parked around nine. Well, what I thought was nine. And then I'm freaking. Well, for some reason, my phone didn't change. So I set my alarm for 7:30. Cause I parked at nine. But that was off of my phone time. Apparently my phone time was still on central time. It was supposed to go back another hour. I'm two hours behind Eastern time. So I set my alarm and I'm looking at the clock. I still ain't got my hours back. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck going on? Then I look and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, my phone for some reason will not change. Let me see. Yeah, for some reason, like my phone says 823. It's 7.23. So, I don't know why my phone is not changing time zones. I, I don't know. So, I'm going to have to keep that in mind when I park tonight to make sure I set an alarm for an hour back. So, I don't freaking oversleep, which I highly doubt I will because I'm normally up before my alarm anyway. So, they got a little diner in here. So, I'm going to go um, see what kind of food they got grab me something to eat and then i'm gonna head out gps said i'll get there at 4 12 right now if i leave but it'll probably be like five but i ain't going all the way there anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and give me something to eat hopefully they got something good at this diner and then i'm gonna shoot my manager a message about this next load because like i told y'all this next load they gave me for tomorrow that shit suck like i'm actually do they got anything else i mean if i have to take it That'll put me at a $6,800 a week with the three loads I've done. Um, but I really don't want to take that load. Uh, it's, it's, it's less than a dollar. When you put when you put all the pl pull the plug, all the numbers in, it's, it's really less than a dollar for real, for real. So I really don't want to take it. But I feel like I'm going to be stuck with it because of where I'm at and where I'm going. So... But we gonna see. I'm a down show writer and see if I can get out of it. I feel like I've been doing this load for forever. I picked this up Tuesday. It's Thursday. And I still got this bitch and got 562 miles ago. These long loads. It's been a while since I've done a load this long. But um, anyway, y'all. I'll catch up with y'all. I am gonna stop in Albuquerque um, and get fuel and take a shower over there. So I'll catch up with y'all over there. Ooh, y'all. They got a old school car museum in the truck stop. Impala Ford Thunderbird 
old school Corvette, old snowmobile, Chevy. These things are nice. See, Ted, I used to want one of these back in the day. That's crazy. Motorcycles. Motor V8. Got all kind of classic stuff up there. here. <clears throat> I didn't even notice it's in here. I literally came out of the bathroom and seen it. Mustang. Cars have come a long way. Long way. This thing's still nice though. Pretty cool little place. Alright y'all. Let me get back to work. I'm gonna head out now. What's the truck stop? Cafe. It's over there. Breakfast. Mid. Um, I get like a five out of ten. Wasn't that great, to be honest. <laughs> so it is what it is. That's a cool little truck stop. Grab me a drink and uh, get on down the road. All right, so we out here at. Flying J in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So, just got fuel. Um, there was a truck behind me waiting, so I, I didn't want to hold up to record. Um, pump price was three forty nine. We got it for two seventy three. It was two seventy yesterday, but of course it went up. So two seventy three is what I got it for. I filled up completely. I was at a little under half. So because for right now, now I'm hitting like deeper into New Mexico so it's all that up and down shit now so you know definitely burning more fuel because this load is 40,000 39 basically 40,000 pounds so y'all already know and this freight line it don't pull these it don't pull these hills at all that's another reason why I want another truck I'm gonna be doing flatbed this truck this freaking old school he came from I was going up the hill he was flatbed too, and he had a big ass something on the back of that shit. It was step deck. Man, that motherfucker went around me, hit that gas, and was gone. Now it's like, yeah, unfortunately, this <laughs> old freight line ain't doing that. We we uh we creeping up this damn mountain, so it is what it is. But um yeah, it was three. I mean, I filled up. It was three hundred ninety-one dollars. That was before the discount. So probably after the discount, probably around like three hundred dollars. I was at nine hundred. I calculated it earlier. I think I'm at 900 something dollars for fuel. It's 965. Nah, let me see if I still got it. Let me see if it's still on the screen. No, I took it off. Yeah. Uh, it was 9, I want to say 9, 965. So probably at like 12. I'm estimating I'm probably going to be around 15 this week. Because now I am 344 miles away from the delivery. So. And then I think my day hits my next pickup is 155 miles. I mean 150 miles. I did ask my manager because she found me another load, but she said Colorado isn't a good reload area, so that's probably the best load should they'll be able to get me out. So you know what that means for me. I won't bring my ass back to Colorado. <laughs> I won't bring my ass back out, which I, I knew when she offered me the load, I was taking that risk from the get-go of getting a load that wasn't gonna pay that great but I mean yeah getting a load that wasn't gonna pay that great but the load that I'm getting shit I wasn't expecting it to be that low I was at least spending like 1500 I was hoping for like 2500 on the way back but we got 1300 which is trash but whatever it is what it is can't do nothing about it but hey but uh I'm finishing out of 30 well I got 13 minutes I'm, I'm probably just gonna go park parking spot right there. I'm probably finna just go park. Uh, I was gonna take a shower here, but they got nine freaking, let me see if they still got it. It says, 
So now it's say eight people waiting. So I'm not about to do that. I, I plan on parking at a, a Love's tonight anyway. So once I get to the Love's, I'll um, I'll just take a shower there. I'm not about to wait here for eight people. Ahead of me. I don't know how long that's gonna take. So I'll catch up with y'all tonight or first thing in the morning. So stay tuned, y'all. All right, uh, so. Y'all see this? They got me out here in the sticks, boy. Not even the sticks. Got my ass out here in the mountain. Not a speed limit change. Come on, bro. Speed limit just 65. Now 65. They tweaking. Literally got me in the mountains, man. Y'all see it? That's all. That's all here. Dirt. I was on 40, so I gotta be on this for the next 137 miles. That's say 190. So I don't know which one is true. Honestly, I'm gonna look more into it tonight. And uh, cause this say 141, so they all say something different. So I'm gonna look it up tonight. Cause sometimes this be telling me to like go do a U-turn and go some. Yeah, this should be. Sometimes it be tweaking, but this do too. So Google be my best hope when I get close to these places, just to be on the safe side. So, but we gonna see what happens when I get over there. I think I got like 80, 80 miles. There's a love somewhere in these damn mountains. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna park at because I feel like, from what I've seen, that's the closest truck stop to my delivery. And my delivery, they will be closed, so I can't go straight there anyway, so it is what it is. But I just wanted to show y'all this lovely mountain view out here. It's pretty nice, man. I ain't been out here in a while, and I might as well take it in. Because I ain't coming out here no more, so. <laughs> I ain't coming out here no more. Not for these rates. I'm good. These roads out here fucked up, too. Jesus. But alright, y'all. I'll uh, update y'all. Uh, top of the morning with it <clears throat> i'm out here at this solar it's an actual solar plant let me show you how really quick well they build it a solar plant so there's another truck he got what i got um they just got a bunch of cars you can't really see nothing um because like i said they're they're building the solar plant now um but apparently this ain't where this load is delivered because i pulled in and they said pull behind this truck and we're gonna lead both take both of y'all over to where we gonna unload y'all so i don't know how far it is i know this shit literally dirt roads to get here <laughs> literally i had some freaking deer i think my gopro caught it freaking two deers ran out right in front of me bro i was like bro big ass deer too so um he said they're gonna lead us over to wherever it is we going so hopefully it's not super far um because i i'm trying to hurry up get this load off of me and keep it moving so we'll see he coming to say something now hold on y'all hey we gotta take you to two different places so you're gonna follow me in this gray dodge okay you're gonna get unloaded first i think okay well when we get you there you gotta have all your ppe yeah you i got already it. know that boots and yeah, I got you. Alright, there you go. So, he said, you gotta go to two different places. I'm like, bro. <laughs> so, I gotta grab my car head. I already got boots on them, so. I mean, I got on sweatpants. I don't know if they're gonna complain about that, possibly. We'll see. Um. Should I just put on some jeans real quick? Damn. I don't want to put on jeans. I literally just put my damn boots on. I'm going to take them off. I'll wait till we get over there. Yeah. Because I got on sweatpants. But I, ain't, I mean, they just said you got to have on pants. They didn't say you got to be jeans. So I should be fine. If anything, I'll put my safety vest on over this. I mean, this should be fine. It's bright ass orange. But they probably still like a plane. So I'm going to see the show and pay me for doing uh two more damn deliveries because that that ain't uh 
that ain't what I'm supposed to be doing. This, I mean, going to two different places. I was told <laughs> to come here. And then now I gotta come here and go somewhere else. So I hope y'all paying me for this shit. And hopefully it ain't super far. But like I said, ain't nothing back here but dirt road, so. Yeah, it's not a fun drive. Speed limit, I think it's like 35 back here, so. But y'all, yeah, I will update y'all uh, when we uh, get to where it is we going. He said follow him. I don't even know where the hell he went. Is that a great dodge? Yeah, I don't know where he went. So, once uh, I figure out where I'm going, then uh, I'll let y'all know. y'all as y'all see we are completely unloaded got another truck he just pulled up so i assume i gotta back out of here back that way and then just go back they said go back they told me to go back the way that i came um because if i don't the farmers or whatever they get mad so, whew, it's getting warm now man this has been a long journey look at this shit y'all this shit is in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Literally. So, that's the power plant back there. Uh, so, I don't know if they expanding the power plant or exactly what they doing. But my job here is done. Colorado, you live in Colorado. I'm adding to your power plant. Like, hey, my good deed is done. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. I literally got a hundred or fifty mile day ahead, but it's gonna take three hours because I gotta go through the mountains to get there. Uh dang. 150 mile, three hours, but one GPS say three and a half hours. We're gonna see. At least going through the mountains this time, I'll be empty. So, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. I'll talk about payroll in the next video because I, I did get paid today. So I'll talk about payroll in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Um, try to preserve as much time as I can because I want to pick this up and get the fuck out of college. So appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Skateboard K, another little dumb. Catch y'all on the next one. Thanks.